Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics, the SongMeter Mini Bat ships with a single ultrasonic microphone. It is possible to connect a second acoustic microphone. This provides the capability for both triggered ultrasonic recording and scheduled acoustic recording. This greatly expands the capabilities of the SongMeter Mini Bat recorder. It's an easy job to connect and configure the second acoustic microphone. Let's take a look. Here is the optional second acoustic microphone. You can purchase this directly from Wildlife Acoustics and add it to your SongMeter Mini Bat at any time. The microphone is not designed to be installed and removed repeatedly. Doing so could break the connection wire. Once the microphone is installed, it should only be removed if it needs to be replaced. Start by taking the lid off the SongMeter Mini Bat. There is a nut and plastic bolt in the upper right corner. The bolt can be removed. A three-quarter inch or adjustable wrench will make the task easy. Next, thread the cable from the microphone through the hole. Don't connect the cable to the recorder yet. Be very careful that the connection wire doesn't catch or snag on anything and it turns freely. Screw the microphone into place. I'll use my wrench to give it a little extra turn. There is no need to over tighten the connection. The plug on the end of the microphone wire has a key so it only fits one way into the circuit board socket. Be careful not to pull on the wire and insert the plug into the socket with the key lined up. Next, tuck the wire to the side of the SD card socket. This will keep the wire out of the way and reduce interference from the SD card to the microphone signal. That's it. The acoustic microphone is installed. Now let's take a look at the Configurator app. I'll turn the SongMeter Mini Bat on and the Configurator app senses the Bluetooth beacon coming from the recorder. I'll tap the status icon and this gives me a real-time update from the SongMeter Mini Bat recorder. If I look to the bottom of the status screen, I see that the right microphone is listed as attached. The Configurator app already knows this SongMeter Mini Bat has the second acoustic microphone connected. I'll hold down the pair button on the recorder and then tap the pair icon in the app. Now the SongMeter Mini Bat and the Configurator app are in full two-way communication. I'll tap the Configure icon to go to the Paired Configuration Editor screen. In the Paired Configuration Editor screen, I now see options for acoustic settings as well as ultrasonic settings. I'll go to the Acoustic Settings screen. Because the ultrasonic and acoustic microphones record at different sample rates, there are separate sample rate settings for each microphone. So here I see the settings for sample rate, maximum recording length, and right channel gain. The acoustic microphone is the right channel. I'll go back to the paired configuration editor screen. The schedule editor has a menu for each schedule block called mode. The mode menu provides the choice for ultrasonic or acoustic recording within the schedule block. The SongMeter Mini Bat cannot record with both the ultrasonic and acoustic microphones at the same time, but it can alternate between the microphones by setting multiple schedule blocks accordingly. It is possible to program schedule blocks which overlap. If that happens, the acoustic recording schedule will override the ultrasonic recording schedule. If an ultrasonic schedule block is configured, the SongMeter Mini Bat uses triggered recording. If an acoustic schedule block is configured, the SongMeter Mini Bat uses continuous scheduled recording. I've set up an example schedule that uses both microphones. The first schedule block is programmed to record with the acoustic microphone from one hour after sunrise to one hour before sunset. I've got the duty cycle set for 10 minutes on and 10 minutes off, this will give me six 10-minute recordings each hour. The second schedule block is set to ultrasonic mode. The start time is one hour before sunset, and the end time is one hour after sunrise. The SongMeter Mini Bat will be record-armed and waiting for ultrasonic triggers during those hours. Now my SongMeter Mini Bat is configured to record birds and frogs during the day and bats during the night. Thank you for watching.